I am on my way to a Super Target right now. I uh, just got a tip on Pop Finder that uh, they just got a restock of the Wayne Sneedon, the Beachhead, the uh, classified series Target exclusive uh, Cobra Island figure from that wave. Uh, so Wayne Sneedon, or rather uh, referred to as Beachhead, um, just got restocked and uh, I just called in. Uh, I know these guys are pretty hot right now, uh, being that it is after the due date of the, uh, sorry, the release date of the toy, which was uh, supposedly August 14th. You know, the whole de debacle between Hasbro and Target, you know, with the early release and you know, the tar several targets started releasing the, the figures out early. And by the time that the, uh, you know, the official release date from Target came, you know, which was the uh, online release date, Hasbro uh, had a first, uh, had updated it to uh, August 1st. Anyhow, uh, that whole debacle was a mess. So, um, I got a tip and now I am at Target uh, picking up a couple of beachheads. So... Uh, they're in fact, I am very happy. Let's see what else they have in stock now. I've been seeing a lot of um, vintage Black Series uh, six inches, you know, the, the carded figures out. Um, the other day I picked up Chewy. Uh, I'm looking for the Fett and the Dark Vader. Uh, and also, um, you know, the Mandalorian Black Series has, uh, the figures have, have come out. I've seen a lot of, um, you know, awesome vloggers out there who have been doing reviews and posting them that they found them. Anyhow, guys, let's go into Target right now and uh, see what they have. You guys wish me luck. We'll see you in there. We're in the toy aisle at Target and bam, we do have a Winner. snow beachhead Sneedon sighting. Awesome, guys. Uh, this is definitely a pickup. Um, the restocks are starting to Target right now, so let's get to see him on the peg all right guys uh let's go check out what they have in star wars this is definitely a find cobra island beachhead sneedon and going into batman wise over here at target they do have um some exclusives there is the joker and batman and also clayface so they have those uh they have the mystery minis still and uh looks like they just restocked some animated multiverse batman get the usual suspects right over here and uh power rangers nothing in power rangers land all right guys we do have uh in transformers land we do have wingspan and pounce right there um these are the stribertronian villains uh, as you can see these are pretty awesome they did restock and have a whole bunch of those um big uh power rangers we have the uh, uh it looks like the 12 inch uh pink ranger and red ranger that side, bot bots, the cute transformers, um, and then over in the Siege War Cybertron, uh, we're seeing crosshairs, um, sideswipe, and uh, you know the usuals right over here. Um, back over there, Ghostbusters. Not too interested in that series anymore. Coming along side, do we have anything over here in Marvel Legends Land? We do see block black. Tom Cassidy, Sunspot, Sheikla, and then we do have the uh, Iron Man uh, Sunboost Armor, or sorry, Star Boost Armor. Um, there goes the uh, Spidey Gujitsus and uh, a couple more Gujitsu 2 packs right there. Anything else noteworthy? And that's about it. Alright, let's go to Star Wars right over here. Uh, we do have uh, a couple of um, wrestling uh, elites right here, WWF. We do have a uh, we have Elizabeth. We do have Ravishing Rick Rude back there. I see him. Let me go take him out. And of course, the peg warming AJ Styles. So let's do this. This guy is on sale right now for $13.99. So double check your targets if you need a Ravishing Rick Rude. All right. <laughs> let's go take a look at what they have in Star Wars. All right, guys. Here is the Star Wars section. Um, looks like a whole bunch of just peg warmers. Lando, of course, we have Luke Skywalker's, uh, the Ceremony ones, and of course, we have Jonas. So, nothing too great. Uh, there goes C-3PO, and um, yep, there's a whole bunch of Baby Yodas right there, just chilling, hanging out. Uh, over here, we do have the Starfleet, 
sorry, mission fleet, I should say, Star Wars mission fleet. There is the ATRT. We've seen that. The Bark Speeder is in the back of that. Clone Trooper, Boba Fett, um, uh, Ahsoka Tano, and let's see, I think Chewie's back there too. So nothing new over there. Jedi Starfighter, we've seen that in the past. Um, the Millennium Falcon is gone. It is no more. Uh, so anyways, guys, I think that just about does it. Other than that, we have all the Super Mario stuff is new. But I think that's good. All right, guys, we will uh, grab this needed, and uh, we'll probably head out to another target. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that was a very successful run over at the target today. Um, I did manage to uh, secure the uh, Wayne Snow Beach Sneedon. So uh, let me show you guys what, uh, what I did get. So i um, pretty sure you guys already seen the box like plenty of times, uh, you know, out in the uh, Cobra Island viral wave right here. So bam, there you go. I finally got him. Um, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, amazingly, he was the hardest to get. Even harder than the uh, the Cobra Trooper out here in Florida. So um, now that I acquired him, uh, all I need to uh, get now is the one everybody's been waiting for, uh, the release of the Baroness and the Cobra Coil Bike. So that has not hit the shelves out here yet. Um, supposedly it will be shortly. Um, th that did have a release date of August 14th and like nationally a lot of people haven't seen it the only person that i've seen that has it um he is actually in china and hong kong so they all they always get like the stuff first so anyhow um be sure to keep on checking uh your targets i'm gonna go head out to see if i can get um the star wars figures probably the camino trooper at somewhere uh today um so anyways guys come follow me Join my adventure again, and don't forget to click the like button down there, subscribe to my channel, and ring the little notification bell so that you know uh, when you know I deliver the new release videos for toy hunting. So anyways, guys, thank you for joining me. Let's head on to the other joint. Peace. Here at Walmart, and voila. Check it out, guys. We do have the full Spider-Man wave just uh, freshly um, put on these pegs out from their boxes three boxes all together so three full waves there is spidey right there two spideys in fact along with the green goblin electro daredevil gwen stacy and peter parker somewhere so there you go guys check it out peace let's go take a look at what they have in star wars land electro over here at uh, walmart still i'm um, just scoping around we got a whole bunch of like cool little things but uh there you go right there guys there you go we do have Marvel Legends series cable one, two, three, four, and five cables right there, guys. Um, do not sleep at all. You guys uh, tell your managers right now that you have to go walk across the street to Walmart. Or if you're sleeping, you better wake up and uh, get out of bed and grab this bad boy right here. All right, guys, again, Marvel Legends cable. Right over here at Walmart, Let's see what we got. What's that? Oh, snaps. Oh, <laughs> yes. There you go, guys. We got the Leonardo and Donatello 2-pack right there. A uh, Walmart exclusive, the Movie Turtles. Here we go, guys. Um, first look right here in the back, Leonardo and Donatello. So um, I haven't seen any of the Walmart exclusive uh, NECA Turtle boxes over here. Uh, this is my first time, so whew, I'm really excited. This is coming home with me. All right, let's see what else they got, guys. Bam, right there. We got the Ultimate City Demon Predator 2. This is the um, NECA uh, 2020 convention exclusive. Now, if you open the box, oh, uh, got a little rave going on right there. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, that's pretty, pretty sweet, guys. Um, okay, so... We got that going on. Uh, the whole light up box right there, as you can see. Oh, wow, that is just an excellent box, guys. Okay, let's keep on going down. Let's see what the back of the box looks like. Pretty awesome with the description right there. Side of the box, you got like the, um, the uh, red foil 30th anniversary 
right there. You got the red foil title. They got two of them right here, guys. So, oh, what else they got? They got, um, okay, they got Big Chap and they got the uh, Aliens Ultimate Edition right here as well. So, th they're pretty stocked, guys, over here. Anything else over here on this side? Yes, they have two more. They have two more NECA convention exclusives. You guys do not pass this up. Do not sleep on this. Ooh, that box looks a little, uh, seen better days right there. But, um, yeah. Okay, guys. So there you go. We got, uh, some more, um, exclusives here at Walmart. You guys take care. Peace. All right, guys. So I uh, just got another word that um, over at another Target slash CVS pharmacy, uh, they do, in fact, have uh, another Star Wars figure that I'm looking for. It is the Star Wars uh, Camino Trooper right here. And um, it is it's it's awesome. It's part of the new uh, Black Series line. Uh, they said they had a couple in stock. So I wanted to just take a chance and, uh, you know, see if they, in fact, did. All right, guys. Wish me luck. We're about to head on inside. Come and join me on another hunt. See you in there. We're here at the Star Wars toy aisle at Target, and uh, bam, we do have this guy right here, Imperial Stormtrooper. Star Wars Imperial Stormtrooper. We have Luke Skywalker in his snow speeder gear right there, along with lightsaber. And we do have uh, Admiral Akbar from Return of the Jedi, you guys. Um, go ahead and check out your local targets. This is a brand new wave of the Black Series with the awesome boxes right there. I mean, the art is just truly magnificent. You guys double check to see if you got it. And there is a snow trooper. All right, guys, let's go take a look at what else they have. Hey, guys, what's good, everyone? Uh, it is early morning on a beautiful Sunday. I'm about to go to uh, Target to check out to see what they have this morning. Um, I know that the Baroness is already out. A lot of people want Baroness, and it's, you know, it's my fault for not getting up <laughs> in the crack of dawn too early in the morning to hit hit the stores and, you know, run to the shelves to in the toy aisle. So, uh, there's been places where, you know, I was a minute too late or, you know, it, it came in, it came in early this morning, we got a limited number and... <laughs> Know, we can't put it on hold or so anyways the Baroness right now is the number one hot toy in the G.I. Joe classified line I've been lucky enough to score Beachhead the other day it was easier getting the Cobra Trooper than it was getting Beachhead another couple figures that I'm looking for actually are the Camino Trooper and uh, also the Storm Trooper which apparently both of them have secret heads under their helmet and uh, I think that's really awesome you know if you're gonna army build and you want different variations with the character you're gonna give them options and what's the best option I think is to give them different personality you know having a mask and having one without a mask is awesome and making them generic you know with a white face you could put like, you you could apply paint to it so that's just wonderful. Very smart thinking from the from the team over at Hasbro. The Kingpin. So Spider-Man wave. We have um, Marvel Legends Spider-Man retro carded Kingpin. He is an amazing looking figure, and I've seen on Instagram, you know, uh, people already snatching him up off the shelves. And I remember when I first saw him, you know, prior to the summer. Uh, when Hasbro, when Hasbro released the Kingpin pictures, I called up a buddy of mine, and I was like, hey man, yo, <laughs> I need to get this guy. I need to pre-order this guy. Never did. This is the beauty of the hunt. Waking up at in the crack of dawn on the weekend, on a Sunday, you, you, you feel, you're feeling the hunt, so... Yeah, let's go to Target. Come with me. We're about to head into Target and uh, see what they have. Early morning, Sunday, August 23rd, 8 a.m. We're going to do it. Let's hit it up and go with me and enjoy the hunt. Peace. We're at 
at Target at the NECA aisle. Uh, I was told that apparently NECA has sold the license to making Godzilla. So these are probably the last ones that you'll ever see. Um, they're going to be discontinuing their license again. NECA is. So uh, yeah, if you're over here at uh, Target, you know, and you're into Godzilla, this will probably be the only... Um, chances that you'll get before these are all gone uh, again um, NECA also um, Target has started um, stocking SH figure arts so I've only seen uh, Son Goku so they have some Son Goku uh, figure arts now and over here we do have the uh, Mandalorian and child pop display I think this is in fact uh, the 10 inch pop um, Mandalorian, Mandalorian holding the child. So, anyways, there you go, right there. There is a. <laughs> oh, you got our peg warmers. Look at all those Jonas. Then, of course, the Frago and um, the mouth of Baby Yoda over here. Let's see. Uh, again, you do have the musical Mute Gen Tour um, combo pack. There is no sign of the four pack. So. All right, moving right along. What else do we have? All right, so uh, going back into the SH Figure Arts land, um, Son Goku, Son Goku, Son Goku. Uh, now that they're carrying SH Figure Arts at you know pretty decent price, um, I will be wondering, uh, you know, what figures in the Dragon Ball line they will be carrying next. So there you go. You got the loyal subjects. He-Man minifigs right there. Star Wars Mandalorian, the child speaker, and a whole bunch of peg warmers right there. So, there you go. Got a little baby Yoda action right there. So, all right, guys, we're gonna move along and head out of this target. Let's see what else? At the Star Wars section, and uh, yep, there he is right there. We got sighting of Chewbacca right there. That is uh, the Wookiee that everybody loves best. So. We're going to go ahead and grab this Star Wars Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary Star Wars carded figure right here. So there you go. There's the back. There's a 6 inch uh, line right there. we got uh, Boba Fett, Imperial Stormtrooper, Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader. So there he is. Front of the vintage card. We'll go ahead and, uh, and grab him. There you go. All right, guys. Here at Star Wars Lego on uh, Target. So we do have a couple of more mm -hmm. Star Wars bus right here. Uh, we have um, the new TIE Fighter pilot. I haven't seen that one. I've seen the Bubba Fett and the Stormtrooper before, but not this guy right here. Uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Go check out your local targets and grab this TIE Fighter pilot. I'm going to be here at Target and... Bamo, here you go, G.I. Joe Classified Series, the Baroness with the Cobra Coil, right here at Target. Check her out. She is just absolutely magnificent. There's her box right there. Got the side artwork right there, and you get Cobra Island right there, along with her symbols. So there you go, guys. G.I. Joe, Baroness, Cobra Island. Hey, guys. So I'm just gonna insert this video uh, right into the video, the episode that you're watching right now. I do apologize for having to cut the uh, Baroness video so short. I was running out of memory on my SD card and um, I could only you know, put so much on it before it was unable to capture any more um, videos in memory. So <laughs> that's just a quick reminder to myself that you know, to dump in a race, or to format uh, each card right after a hunt so that I'll have more space and more memory to actually record to show you guys, you know, what had happened in the hunt. Anyhow, it was a fantastic uh, hunt. Great feeling to find the Baroness that morning uh, at Target. Now, um, uh, after that, uh, that, I mean, that was it. So basically, um, fast forward till now. So right now, I'm on my way to GameStop just to check out to see what they have in stock right now. Um, I'm looking for the Spider-Man Kingpin, and I'm also looking for the Star Wars Rebels line. 
and of course the Star Wars uh, Black Series line, the uh, you know the Mandalorian and Beskar armor. Um, other than that, uh, that's about it for now. We'll see you guys at GameStop. So guys, uh, let me tell you, it was such a fantastic feeling when I saw Baroness on the shelf. Uh, it's kind of like a dream. I mean, uh, you know, I've been hunting for that one for for uh, quite a bit, and uh, that and um, let's see the uh, Wayne Beachhead Sneedon, so him as well. But uh, yeah, when I saw Baroness, I was like, man, this is, you know, this is happiness right here. So anyhow, guys, um, the rest of uh, the, the, the rest of the Joes that I'm looking for now are pretty much wave two. So um, let's see, uh, Arctic Storm Shadow, that's the Amazon exclusive. Uh, I'll be trying to get him, and uh, you know we have Cobra Commander, Gung Ho, and you know the uh, Red Ninja. So all of those guys, I still need to collect. Uh, and of course, obviously, there's the SD CC 2020 Supreme Cobra Commander with the remarkable box right there. So that's a, that's another one on my list. Oh, they just keep on pushing out more. I can never stop. <laughs> it's a very dangerous hobby, guys. Um, anyhow, uh, we will see you in GameStop. All right, peace. Hey guys, we are over here at GameStop. And uh, basically, just checking out to see what they have. Let's see, we got the uh, Joker and uh, like Batman White Knight, along with the Wonder Woman stuff. Let's see what else we have Marvel Legends-wise. Of course, we have the storm and a uh, couple cool Power Rangers right there. All right, so nothing too much in Marvel's Legends. Yeah, nothing too much, just the pig pins. And there is the heavy battle droid. And the Luke Skywalker on card and the Jawas. Let's go see what else we have. All right, guys, here we go with some pops right here. We do have the. Han Solo in Carbonite pop right here. 40th Empire Strikes Back Anniversary. It's pretty cool right there. He'd go good alongside uh, a Boba Fett. So <laughs> there you go. Side of the box. And of course you have the uh, back right there. All right, guys. That's pretty cool. Mad Pikachu. Hey, guys. At GameStop, uh, I ended up picking this up. This is the Marvel Zombies pop right here. So the Venom Pop, um, he's been holding this for me for a long time. So anyways, guys, uh, I promised myself that I wasn't going to pick up any more Pops, and I swore to that. But uh, yeah, to contest, uh, I just couldn't pass this bad boy up. And again, this is an exclusive for GameStop right there. It's Marvel Zombies. And uh, yep, there is Zombie Venom. All right, guys. Peace here at the Target collectible section, neck aisle. We do have, looks like restocks of this. this is the Terminator Endoskeleton, um, pretty rad. Uh, so you have like a, uh, two of these over here in stock right now. Um, we also do have uh, Keanu Reeves, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. Here we go. Um, we do have uh, the new Halloween 3, Season of the Witch Box right here, which is pretty awesome. So, one second, and uh, so there you go. We have the uh, the three kids trick or treating along with their accessories. Looks like you have one, two, three alternate masks. You have the TV right there, several hands. Um, yep, yeah, and their costumes right there. There's the witch's hat. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so there you go. Shan Silver Shadow Rec novelties right there. Um, we do have some it. So these are these are new ones. So the movie, you know, this one uh, certainly uh, I haven't seen before. So you get four different scary head sculpts right there. Um, they do also have King Kong in stock. So there is the King Kong um, with the awkward face and the mad angry face. Um, I've seen reviews about people uh, posting about uh, now this is the you know takes it, it takes much uh liking of the old character's face right there the head sculpt so that's that uh, i'm not gonna pick it up i'll probably wait out on this one i'd probably get the uh the halloween set um you know three pack before anything but that's that's 50 bucks right there so anyhow all right let's move right along 
whole bunch of Godzillas. Uh, NECA has, um, doesn't have the license to create Godzillas anymore. So those are going to be discontinued in the future. So if you guys don't have any Godzillas, go ahead and pick those up because they're going to be rare. Uh, let's see what else. Um, there's more King Kong over there. You can see the predator and, uh, that's about all. Let's go ahead and uh, move right more pops over here. A uh, whole bunch of Chuck Nolan from Castaway. We also do have some of these right here, Cyberpunk collection boxes. A uh, whole bunch of, it's like a good goodie bag right there, full of sorts, but uh, I'm not interested. Um, do you have the Naruto and the My Hero right there? Also, um, Bandai SH Figuarts Arts has um, implemented uh, Goku. So we do have SH um, Figo Arts now at Target, which is pretty cool. Uh, I am interested in um, what SH Figo Arts, uh, you know, is going to be uh, coming out in the future at Target. So get a whole bunch of that line coming through now. Um, as for McFarlane, multiverse wise, um, don't look like they have too much of anything, and uh, you know, you have the same old, same old stuff. So. Anyways, guys, uh, recapping, we do have just a whole bunch of these um, new stuff. The new stuff would be King Kong right there um, and the Halloween uh, three-pack, so as well as it, the movie. But I'm not going to be picking any of those up today, so uh, yep, take care. All right, guys, welcome to the old truck. That just about wraps it up for the awesome toy hunt video. Uh, thanks for joining along with me in this episode and coming along with me on these awesome hunts. Now, um, the, the last couple hunts that I just had in this episode were remarkable. Uh, we ended up getting uh, Beachhead. We ended up getting Josh Brolin, Deadpool 2, uh, Cable. Uh, we also ended up getting the awesome Baroness, um, as well as other awesome figures like the, the, the Venom Pop. And I promised myself I was never going to get any more Pops. And uh, what, what happened? I mean, it's just a remarkable pop. Anyhow, guys, thank you once again for joining me in this awesome adventure. Um, please be sure to uh, hit the like button right down there and subscribe to my channel if you're new to this channel. Also, um, please do ring the notification bell down there. Uh, that'll get you updates on to when I post new videos. Uh, anyhow, guys, thank you. And uh, we'll see you later. Stay happy, stay healthy, be creative, be productive, and always, guys, always, always don't forget to eat your nudes. Bye -bye. Later.